Let's move over to our last kind of highlighted game of the day. This one, I'm kind of kind of semi excited to talk about. We haven't talked about our guy Louis Berrios under center um, at Delaware Valley in a while. We are going to talk about Delval today, and it's not because of a stat line that he put up, but rather Stevenson picking up a 21 to 20 win over the Aggies there. And this was a pretty monumental win for that squad over there, huh, Jim? Yeah, and the defense stepped up big time for them. You know, anytime you're a huge underdog like they were at 19 and a half points, you're going to have to have big plays and turnovers. And that's exactly what they did. Jovan Terrell with two interceptions to uh, bolster that defense up. And there's a, a big what-if play. There's a missed extra point with five minutes to go to tie the game. And, obviously, at the end of the game, uh, Makai Harvey had a game ceiling interception. But, man, oh, man. Anytime you think about a missed extra point, and you lose by one. Yeah. yeah. No, that is that is ridiculous. Um, and the over-under for this game was 42, and it finished at 41. And just a mixed extra point from most likely overtime. Because <laughs> no one yes. Scored. Just wild stuff there. Wild you can stuff. definitely assume. Uh, when you look at the the history of this game – Right, I think there's some big numbers that stand out. And uh, you go back, the last time that Stevenson won this game was back at home in 2016. And that's notable for a couple of reasons. One, because that's the last time that Stevenson beat Delaware Valley. That's also the last time anyone in their conference beat Delaware Valley. Jimmy, they've been on an absolute tear inside of conference oh, play. And yeah. uh, this win is is monumental in that way because – this Delaware Valley team has owned the conference for a long time, and and this could be a uh, changing of the guard, a uh, changing of the throne, I guess, whatever kind of analogy you want to use. Potentially, yeah. There's no reason why there can't be, you know. But I think I actually do remember talking about that a bit last year with you. We were previewing a Delaware Valley game. It may have been when we had them uh, – we unveiled their new show. What was that, like, last year? And we were talking about their crazy, like, conference win streak. I did not actually have that here, but – um Good yeah, know that. Very the good Middle Atlantic that. Conference. That makes, that they were on a more yeah. in the uh, in the MAC. They were on a fifty-four game winning streak. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of wins. That's hard to do. That is incredibly hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go through too while we were while we were on this. I was gonna go through and find that uh, interception late because I know this is kind of a longer highlight video wise here. Let's see. I believe this is it. But, yeah, I wanted to make sure I I highlighted that before we got off of it. But, yeah, I mean, what a what a monumental win for this squad, and that could uh, spell a lot of success for them down the road. Looking at their schedule the rest of the way for Stevenson, they go – they're back at home, sorry, against Alvernia this week. And then on the road, Widener, Albright, going into conference play here. And when you open up with that kind of win, the rest of the year really is is everything is in front of them, right? There's They've got this win under their belt, and now it's it's kind of their conference to lose. At this point, I think it's kind of maybe the overreaction, but uh, that's kind of what it feels like looking at the streak that DelVal was on. Yeah. I mean, I, I there's no reason why they can't come, come back and win the rest of the game. But, like I said, you know, 